Greetings everyone and welcome back to Thrones of Britannia, a total war saga where we are trying to conquer Britain as Wales. Um, Anorod's army is doing alright actually. Uh, I do want to recruit some more people though, if I can. Uh, are there many archers over there? No. Chance to replenish units 12%, units replenish per turn 1. So we've just got to wait until there's a... Uh, uh, another archer unit somewhere so we can pick them up and at that point hopefully within the next four turns we will then be able to unlock the next uh welsh archer unit but for the time being we're gonna sit tight we've got a couple of opportunities open to us one quest to go to the north and try and claim these islands over there i will have a look and see if that will award heroism because if it will and I might well go for that one over trying to take some of the territories to the south. Simply because uh, we're actually doing quite well on heroism. We're at 54 of 100. And we're gaining heroism reasonably fast. It's not too hard to understand, of course. We are the Welsh, after all. Our bards are renowned. The, the, the most minor of deeds will turn into a, a vast saga. Thanks. To, uh, to the creativity of our bards. Strong gales are ravaging this province. Many homes have already been destroyed and it will be difficult erecting new ones during the storm. Oh no. Which one was it? Oh. Damn ya. Alright then. Go ahead and repair. That'll be annoying. Faction encountered. Uh, they are very far away. So not something we strictly need to worry about. Your worth. Can you hire an archer? No, you cannot. Then don't do anything. For the glory of the Cymru. Anaraud, what? It's autumn. It's going to be... Ooh, I don't fancy wandering through Snowdonia at winter. Do not fancy that at all. Let's make our way up to Abavrau. Uh, Abafro, sorry. Uh, actually... Damn it! Damn it! Double threat. <laughs> uh, what I meant to say is, can we get there in one turn? But I clicked to move, and uh, by then... Ah, oh, God. Oh, well, it's not terrible. We're not bringing in the most money anymore, simply because we've used up quite a lot of... Uh, of... Um, money thanks to our grain. So it's not, it's not awful. But we do need to get our food situation back in control because we're about to lose 20 of it. Things are not going too well right now. Hopefully Anaraud can get up into uh, into that castle over there. Castle Town. And we'll see what we can do. The Welsh people in Carne have regained their independence from the Anglo-Saxons, though they remain weak and vulnerable. Perhaps we should do something. Annex them. We should offer to integrate them into our kingdom. Vassalize them. Once a vassal, always a vassal. They should swear allegiance to a true king. Conquer them, leave them alone. Um, I will annex them. Or at least I'll offer it. Tales of rare exploits are so popular that a local bard wishes to compose a verse that may spread your frame and influence even further. Whoa. Well. Yes, okay. Spend. Well, I mean, heroism is really, really important for us. And 25 is a lot. Think of it as insurance for a time when you may need to generate a mass support quickly. But that influence is nice. But it would only give it to me for 10 turns. What sort of man passes up the chance of eternal life through the annals of history? Ah. It's a permanent loss of heroism in exchange for 10 turns of cultural benefits, but... Damn it, sure. You can't say no to that. They've refused to negotiate with us. Diplomacy has failed. The only option left for us now is war. We should conquer them instead. Oh, oh on the plus side, 10 heroism. Our scouts report on a small raiding force. Okay. Well, let's have a look at these these crazy uh, quests that I've got. Uh, missions. Capture the following settlement. 
Uh, kingdom, no, that's not what we want. Raw 10 heroism for uh, eliminating them. There we go. Oh, it's just money. Hmm. That's not so great. That is not so great. That is very far away. Very, very far away. Uh, 2,000 wouldn't be awful. It's a nice and isolated little place. I could perhaps get a, a little army up there, maybe. Alright, let's get over there, then. There we go. Now, if we want to get up there, I'm going to let you fully recover before we do. Have we got archers? Yes! But we do not have food. And that is difficult. We'll take another... F Ooh, that is nice, though. Up to 50 food there. I accept. Let's try and get that happening. Let's not dip into running out of food again. Let's, let's be a bit more cautious. But we're probably going to take Anor out up to uh, try and claim that island pretty soon. Caution or not. In fact, we cannot be overcautious. Heroic sagas do not write themselves. Is that genuinely called Snottingham? I only just noticed it. Blackmail. Rumor has it that this man is working against you and is out to make his next move. Uh, minus two? No. That's for six turns. Oh, fine, I'll pay you off. You're worth you scallywag, you. My lord. What a scoundrel he is. Uh, how are we doing? We are We're doing reasonably well, actually. Uh, how are you doing there? We cannot expand that anytime soon. How long will it take to finish the expansion over here? Three turns there. And three to Actually, we can manage it, I would say. We can afford to. So, given that... Go ahead and hire an archer. There we are. They will very quickly fill up there. In the foliage, a feigned retreat can quickly turn into a fatal hailstorm of arrows. Uh, okay. Very well. Uh, I, I concur, <laughs> I think. Uh, there we go. Cultural benefits, plus one influence, plus ten fame, plus seven fame. What is our fame, then? Let's have a quick look. Uh, is there anywhere that, that records our fame? Here we are. Fame represents the accomplishment of your... Faction is one of the potential routes to campaign victory. You have 90, and in order to have a short fame victory, you need 256. Very well. Uh, what are you up to, Yodora? Mm, nothing too much going on there, actually. They will take charge of their faction once the current faction leader has passed on. Choose the candidate who you feel is best suited to the task, but remember that this inheriting an heir will have a Drastic effect on the loyalty. Yes. Currently, our A. Minus 50% upkeep costs for all units. Very well. Uh, well we're obviously not going to disinherit our own son. Uh, right. We could make a push now. I have no idea what kind of armies they've got up there. So I would like it if we had some more time but i do not think we do i may see what happens with the research though i'll allow that to go one more turn and just see if it's something we we realistically want to wait on or not but i'm not too fond of the idea of waiting over long as we've seen we're able to do surprisingly well even with a significantly inferior force so hopefully that continues but we are going to be leaving wales so outside of wales that might not be an effect that we can rely on 
The Welsh are very well adapted to fighting in Wales. It is why many, many armies found it pretty difficult. When we're baited out of Wales, ah, things don't go so good. The development of mills. Harnessing the energy of the elements for agriculture and industrial processes is only possible with mill buildings. Acquiring more facilities to soak rain will necessitate the construction of such buildings to process it. And gained like fish. Um, likes fish. Okay, gained from the port building. Among the island races, who doesn't? Huh. It's actually pretty pretty nice little thing there. Yeah, sure. Right, now then. Uh, with missile exchanges occurring before most melee confrontations, arrows and javelins can dictate the course of a battle from the outset. Uh, outset. Recruiting enough missile infantry will ready others for the call to battle. I would like to know what the Welsh hunters are like, though. Okay, so it's just a matter that we'll be able to start recruiting Welsh hunters. That's fine. What would this one be? Um, plus five supplies in own or allied territory. Landowner knows his own patch better than his neighbours, and they know theirs better than he. Gathering knowledge of all local agricultural customs will improve our arms' ability to live off the land while on the campaign. Uh, that would be public order or regions. That would be quite nice. Uh, plus one villa estate. The king's estate make work for idle hands. Re-establishing the manorial system will occupy people who might otherwise be dissident. Putting them to work on estates to be bequeathed to our most favourable, uh, favoured nobles. Uh, plus fifteen percent farm or regions, and plus five percent upkeep cost for all units, and plus twenty percent food production. That would be nice, to be fair. That would definitely be nice. But let's get uh, our units going. We'll see how that goes for now. All right. Okay then. There's no point in waiting. You're, you're almost full power. It's, it's fine. You will do okay. Let's get out there then. Now, they are going to start feeling a bit seasick, I imagine. Now, uh, how much attrition damage are you going to take? I do not know. Any arrows indicate forces that can reinforce this armed battle? Fair enough. No, we'll just see how long it takes us to get there. The money will be very, very good for us. And be very easy to spend. I promise. Two turns there. Three turns on increasing our cattle farm. And two turns on increasing the grain salad. We'll lose a little bit more money, but we'll get a lot more food. An extra 20 food will be coming in. We can always then look to uh, upgrade our market in some way. I think we could... I mean, that plus 15%. Trade is actually quite nice, but that costs way too much in terms of food. Getting an, another mint would be fantastic, though. When your face is everywhere, there can be no doubt who rules. Well, there's a certain sense in that, I suppose. We're not seeing too much activity for my brothers, though. I am wondering what they're up to. Enemy has become a vassal kingdom. Oh. This enemy of your faction has become a vassal kingdom. You must either make unconditional peace with it, or declare war on the new overlord. Uh, I, I wish to have a look at... Uh, just move my army away. I'll make peace with the vassal kingdom for now. But I do intend to crush them later. The thing is, their territory is so far to the south, there's no point in me being at war with them right now anyway, since I have to go through so many other people to get to them. Faction is no match. It's fine. Attrition. Men lost. Two. Uh, the elements show their true power over deep waters. Endlessly buffeting the fleet and bringing death to our mariners. Keep to the coastline to ensure their safety. Well, I would like to, but I can't. Uh, very well. Sails trimmed and all Let's get over there. Fleet right. War declared. Anything else I need to know? Hmm. What do we know of you? If anything. 
Well, you got some archers at least. The fleet is ready. Would like to get up there, but uh, maybe I can go up and around. I think that would probably be a bit Set of a wiser course. course. Let's get up and around, and then we can attack from there. If I can claim this little area, looks like that's a coastline that I can land at. I think that would be wiser. Fleet, advance. I think that would be much wiser. Okay, where are we now? Cultural equilibrium, minus 11. Vents, minus 15. Yeah. Every man will do his duty. Right, where were you? Down there. I wonder if my brother made peace or not. I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, contested province. Contested province. Public order, slightly happy. Public order, neutral. Let's have a look. Have I actually got a governor for pro... Ah, of course. Yeah, it's, my, it's my brother's territory, really. He's none too happy, probably, that I've... Uh, I've, I've pinched it. Let's not be silly now. Let's call it what it is. I, I have pinched it. However... Let's have a quick look at my brother. Who are you at war with, if anyone? Enemies. Yep, you're still at war with them. Come on, you're at war with uh, Hamilleborg. I have no idea why you have gone to war with us. I can't even see you now. Oh, there we are. Yeah. And... Where are you? All the way over there. Yeah, they're actually quite difficult to get to. And quite far away from where we are. So that shouldn't be a much of, a, of an issue for my brother. So that's uh, that's fine then. Just wanted to make sure that I wasn't leaving you in the stick. Right. Okay. Can we upgrade the mint? It's going to actually take a lot of money to do that. But we might actually get it from claiming this area. Might need to leave an army up here to protect it. Probably won't, though, if I'm perfectly honest. I very much doubt we will. If the Vikings come and take it, well, that's fine. Because I'm only up here to get the initial money that I would get from capturing it anyway. But if, while I've got it, it's useful to me, that's not bad. I want to try and find some historic sites that I can capture and hold, though. So it'll rise our heroism. My rank has increased. Okay. Peace there. All declared. Trade gained. Carpenter. Uh, minus 3% on construction costs and more governance. On the humble tree, great cities may grow. Gain from level 3 monastery, market or great hall building. Okay. Action encountered. Very well. Anarod. Uh, sorry, Anarod has uh, gathered... A another level. It's very nice to see. Could go pillager. I'm not really too interested in that one. Hmm. We could get extra two. No, actually, this one won't give us any more zeal. I don't think. This would just give us extra melee. You would give us a lot, though. So I'm, I'm going to go for an extra for forager. We will now, while we're in enemy, enemy provinces, start reducing their food. And as for you, I think it's now time for a scribe down there. There we go. Right. And now let's get over here then. Such an action would surely lead to war. Proceed with your course of action only if you desire conflict. I do indeed. Declare war. You're very far away. Dependable in the fight. Uh, Allies' attitudes towards them. Hmm. Where are you? How close? 
close to you. And they're all the way... Yeah, the, I don't think these Vikings are going to be that much of an issue. In terms of strength, not that much different. Yeah, I'm going to call my allies to help. Not take this line down. Uh, that's fine. The there we are. Let's get in there then. Every man will do his duty. And... I'm going to occupy it. Without question. The presence of the so-called Sea Kings is too big a danger for us to ignore. We must secure our coast by completely eliminating them. Okay. And 10 heroism from that. I will approve. Uh, Ennis Patrick. It has low... Uh, low happiness. There's 70 food coming from that. That's very nice. Right, this character has low loyalty. Ah, it's because they don't have enough estates. That is fine. It is fine. We'll hand out estates. Uh, right, let's see. First and foremost, let's get you out to you. Bonk. There we are. Seven loyalty. And... Uh, actually, that's that's completely fixed the loyalty issue. Uh, I think I will maintain my my influence where it stands right now. Then, that's fine. That has fixed some of the uh, issues there. We will serve you well. All right, we are gaming now. We've got a lot of food coming in from there. That affords me the opportunity to increase the size of my army if I would like to. I think I do. But we'll wait on the Welsh Hunters. Missile Specialist. Let's actually have a look at what the difference is. Uh, resistance to fatigue, no terrain, height, snipe. Uh, that's fine. What about you? Guerrilla Deployment. This unit can be deployed outside of the deploy zone. Ooh, okay. Let's have a look between the two. Actually, lower. 23 gold instead of 27. And it doesn't seem they're much... Different. They've got a slow rate of fire. And they're a bit more accurate. But other than that, not too much of a difference. That's fine. Okay, then. We'll hold this position for now. At least until uh, winter is passed. And then we'll move on to attack further down. You're doing fine down there. All right, I'm liking the amount of uh, food we've got. Though we could raise another army. That is an awful lot of food. That's a crazy amount of food. Uh, we could also push for this. Those granted an audience with the king shall see the dispensation of justice. Or we can get a new building. Let's have a look at what we've got. We can get a water mill. More food production. 10% fur production from all hunting villages in this province, plus 10% tradable resource production from all industry uh, villages in the province, plus 10% gold from farms. We go with Grange, uh, a tithe hall, more food, more stuff on farms. We get a grain pit, loads more food, but loads less money. We go for the story hall. It would give us extra fame. More campaign movement range. Go for a tanner. Hmm. These are definitely decent options. Let's actually have a look at the details of these buildings then. Uh, let's see. Great hall. Story hall. Bard's hall. And then the Master Bar Tall. It's a lot of fame. An arena we can't do yet. And the port, we've already got. The church. Could take a lot of gold. Oh, Lord. Tanner. 
and increases markets. Um, we're not really producing any hunting here, though. Let's have a look. This should give us a decent amount of food. Quite a lot of food, actually. Uh, tithe barn. Again, bring us a decent amount of food, but would create unrest. Because the grain pits would cost us a lot. But it would give us a massive amount of food. Garrison. Lots of food, lots of money, but it would give us a much bigger garrison as well. Uh, the judges' hall. Again, costly. Eh, it's a difficult one, actually. But I'm feeling more towards the watermill than anything else right now. Um, well, the bar's hall too, actually, but... We'd increase the money coming in. Actually, yeah, we're going to go with the bar's hall. Come sit. Let me tell you stories of the chieftains and kings of Europe. Let's get that going. There we are. We can also look to increase our farm in a bit. Sure, let's get that going. There we are. That will be good for us. We are right. True of heart. You're fine there. Let's pass the turn. I might take an allow to cross the, the sea and actually try and crush the enemy. They only had one port, but it, it's going to probably be a decent fight against the Vikings, honestly. So I want to have the best units I can before I try. Or at the very least, I need this to be a full 20 stack. I believe 20 units is the most that you can have with one commander. Maybe even take two armies over there. We'll see. Faction destroyed. Faction gone. Faction gone. Wow, so many are gone. There we are. We've got a lot of food there now. Right, let's get down there. Let's take this off them. them down. Grab two of those. I think that's all we're going to need. They've got two archers and levy javelins. But it's not going to be a big issue for Send us, I don't think. Packing. We're easily going to be able to take that one, actually. Uh, but then we're going to need to get all the way down here and start taking these territories. Not exactly what I want to do, but uh, it'll be interesting, all the same. If we did manage to do that, we'd have a good connection with Ireland. That would not be too bad. Probably open up a way for some good trade, I imagine. Some very good trade. Uh, they've got a decent army there. We could just pop in and take that if we wanted to. But we'd need to build this army up a lot more before then. Uh, okay. Well, given that, let's get more cavalry, some more spearmen, and a javelinner. There we are. Let's build you up until you're at least about the same size, and then we'll uh, charge in. You will reinforce crazy fast. That is amazing. I approve of that enormously. We might actually flesh you out with a couple more Huntsmen as well, if we can. Simply because you pay 50% less unit upkeep on archers. Your wrath is going to be a pretty solid, pretty solid commander because of that. Happen to be one of the strongest units that we can field. I mean, obviously, not necessarily always the best unit for any particular situation. Still. Action destroyed. It's quite a lot of them are going down. Uh, okay, that's fine. There we are. Marvellous. Let's have a look. Uh, we could go for this one. I don't actually care for that one right now. Okay, missile drills and tactics. For archers and javelin men alike, knowing the enemy's position and having a good aim is only half the task. Drilling our missile infantry to be more organized and efficient will optimize their effectiveness on the battlefield. Plus 25% ammunition for missile infantry, that is amazing. And plus 15% missile damage for missile infantry. 
That would be very nice. Longbowmen will replace Welsh archers. The most well-trained missile infantry can inflict casualties while constantly maintaining safe distance. Sending out word that we need our more able skirmishers will bring them forth to take the place in our battle. And then after that, professional archers plus 15% range, 5% upgrade costs, minus 30% recruitment costs for them as well. And following that, Masters of Missile Warfare. Uh, we'd get the Welsh Javelinman, would replace the Welsh Levy Javelinman. And Helwyr, replace Welsh Hunters. And finally, 100, plus 100% 100 replenishment chance to missile units, and plus one food upkeep. Uh, that's fine. All right, okay, we'll start down this path right away. We need to start upgrading the technology of our troops up quite badly. Quite, quite badly. Indeed. All right, turns remaining before surrender. Oh. Turns remaining before garrison will run out of supplies. Two. Well, we could hold this position for a little bit, I suppose. How are we doing? Send them packing. We're doing all right. I think we'll, I think we can wait. Foreign soil minus fifteen. We've got five turns. I could just uh, wait at least one more turn. Just let him get a little bit weaker. For the glory of the Cymru. Go on then. Let's pass another turn. See how this goes. Give our enemies some time to get over there. Make this a fun battle. Oh, there they are. They've got 11 people there. That would make it a fun battle. Mind you, are they heading out or did they just claim a territory? I think they just claimed the territory is what they did. Oh, I want to get over there quickly then while they're weak. It seems that they've been in a bit of fighting. All right, change of plan. We aren't waiting. We're going to finish this battle and then get over there as quickly as we can. Yeah, let's get in there. Indeed. And attack. We should be able to make this pretty easily. Okay, then. I do love the, the battle maps. I do like these a lot, actually. Now, with all of those, those rocks, that could... Uh, looks like it might actually be a little bit higher up as well. Maybe if we can get some archers up there. Notice that there's only really three ways in. Well, we could deploy our forces down here. I wonder. I wonder if we could do that. If that's even an option. Well, we're coming from the... Uh, from, from the... The, the land, so I shouldn't imagine they would let me just do that. That would be a bit silly. Let's see if we can can't get uh, something back. There we go. Try. Can we actually deploy in the water? Because if we can, we'd just be able to sail straight in and claim this place. Is that a thing that we can do? Please tell me. No. <laughs> but I think uh, you probably could get uh, reinforcements from that direction. Or, or maybe if we actually attacked from the sea. That would make a lot of sense, actually. Sure. Alright, let's get you down here. There we are. And, well, let's just get the archers and the uh, javeliners. You can be group two. There we are. Now then, the rest of you. Be sure to protect your general in combat. Just go ahead and attack. His loss would be keenly felt amongst his remaining troops. There we go. Get out there then. The our Get out of the way so you're not constantly being attacked for no reason. There we go. Get out of it. Oh, shush your big baby. Now there's their archers. Alright. Where's our archers then? Uh, I only want the archers, mind. Let's go for flaming arrows. Get up there? No. No, of course we can't. Right, I want you to engage. Fire. Go ahead. Javelins. Javelins, you be over here. Mind you, if that gets nasty, I'm going to need you to uh, move out of there. If they set that on fire, that would be a pretty bad time. Pretty bad. Right. 
I want you to actually engage them, please. Let's get a bit further forward. And just fire. They have bailed. Where are they going? Where are they pulling back to? I have no idea. Them there. Some further back there. Okay, I can, I can sort of see where they're heading now. Right, go. Fire arrows. Go, go, go. Perfect. That's what we need. Spearmen out there. All of you. Up here. That is fine. There we go. Look at that. How are they doing? They are not doing very well. Are we getting in there? I would love it if you would. There we go. Yeah. May actually even set a couple of these places on fire at this rate. There we go. Javeliners, if you can attack them, go for it. Are you going to actually attack or. I mean, you don't have to, I suppose, but I would like it if you do. I, I don't think they want to. Very well. The enemy's gates have been destroyed. Hooray! Get through. Quick march, Quick march. Get in there. And you. Get in there as well. Go through. There we are. Right, if you go for the Eastman war band there. Ah, there they are. They are getting up on the walls now. There we go. They're getting up there now. They they finally decided they were going to do something. Oh, they have got a lot of axe men, man. Attack. Oh, where's my javelin? Uh, you as well. Go ahead and engage. Get in there. Go on. Both of you. Get up here, please. Engage them a bit. Go ahead. You can go ahead and engage the archers over there, please. Uh, right. If we can get you in here, then you can actually attack them from behind. It would be much better for me. Right, you get in there. Just go and charge. You guys get across here. Yeah. And cavalry, you can now move up. Javeliners, get in there, please. Don't be outside. There's nothing for you to do out there. Good. Right. Get down there. Engage. That you three get up there. Uh, you two, rather. There we go. Right. Get over there, engage them as they're trying to flee. Javelinman, you are starting to get a little bit annoying. Right. Hold fire for now. Oops, sorry. Hold fire. Want you to get in first before we do any more. Just get in there for now. There we go. It's ours now. Let's get everyone inside. As quickly as you can, please. The archers can go up, up there if they really want to. That's fine. Uh, you can kill them whilst we've got a chance. And who have we got over here? Uh, Axemen. Where do we want to be? Also, there's someone still out there. What? Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, sorry, my, my bad, my bad. You can go and deal with them, I suppose. Uh, right. Are there any others around? There must be, if we haven't taken everything. Let's move as a group. Where are you? 
you can chase him down, that's fine. Uh, Alright, we've got the general. Let's go ahead and engage. Oh, that is, that is terrifying, looking at that. I mean, I'm not going to chase you down. Well, I am now, actually. Go. Get over there. Uh, you should stop. Uh, spear infantry mines, but uh, they are fleeing, so we should just be able to do a massive charge attack. Straight in. Oh, that looked nasty. That looked really, really quite nasty. There we go. Are we going to be able to take out the, the entire war band? Oh, we're losing horses to the uh, towers there, so we'll end the battle. But still, we were doing quite well, I think. We didn't quite wipe them out. We may have actually wiped out the, 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 uh, the commanding. Uh, general, but I'm not sure. So, I think we did, did quite well there. We lost 152. They only killed <laughs> bloody archers. Oh, my goodness. There we go. 109 captured. Mission successful. Okay. Ten heroism. I, it, there was heroism. Brilliant. Pretty happy with that. Now the people have seen that you are capable of heroic deeds, they are starting to get behind you. Your warriors have begun to fight with greater vigor and skill, and your subjects no longer revive. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, paying all of that heroism was painful. The Viking presence in Eru is under threat. They have lost a second uh, long port, and it's got them worried. Dublin is stepping in, trying to get the other Vikings interested to unite behind them. Could this be the beginning of the end for the Viking Sea Kings? All minor Viking Sea King factions in Ireland will be annexed by Dublin. Okay. Very interesting. They didn't like losing that. Not at all. That is actually good for us. That's very good for us, actually. Alright, let's have a look at you then. What have we got here? Get that repaired. They've already got a, a water mill. That is really... Wow, this is a well-developed little place. It's a very well-developed little place. We can assign a governor. I think, in fact, we shall. Who would like to govern? Negotiator. That's 10 income from the governed province. Um, yeah, all right, cattle. You can have this one. And this estate. No, we're good with the estates for now. Okay, that isn't too bad. I'm up to 10 influence now. Fantastic. Pretty happy with that one. That's going to take us a, a few turns to uh, build up again. But then we can start pushing out once more. Ooh, they are trying to raid this place. They may blunt themselves on them pretty hard. My warriors that wouldn't will not be a terrible thing, to be honest. It would not be a terrible thing at all. Ah, Welsh hunters. Yes, please, we'll take two. Uh, but I am a little bit concerned that we haven't got enough um, infantry then. So I'll also take two axemen. There we go. That is now a decent sized army there, and you've got a lot of potential alpha damage with the archers. If we play that right, you could have taken out one or two units before the real fighting actually begins. I do need to get you some cavalry. I keep forgetting to do that, though. Ah, Every man will do bad his of me. Duty. So I've got 44 food. So on the topic of infantry. I'll get another... Sorry, of cavalry. I'll get another one. May... No, we won't get another skirmisher. I think that's good. It's good for now. 
All right, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. And on that note, we're going to be wrapping up this episode. I really do hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me for the next, where we may be mopping up. Uh, hopefully, you lose, because this is a garrisoned area, and then I'll just move in and claim it. That would be the best scenario. Whether that's going to be what happens or not, I cannot tell you. But next up is getting down here. Trying to take out the Vikings. Maybe getting a bit of a foothold in Ireland. Speed up some trading, you know. A little bit of that. That would be very, very nice, I think. Very nice indeed. Well, that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.